Every year, millions of children suffer around the world, but it doesn't have to be that way. Our mission is to ensure that no child be left helpless. For just the price of a cup of coffee a day, we'll put a gun in the hands of a child. Pledge today, and we'll give a child like this one access to drugs, alcohol, and deadly weaponry. We'll even work to get them in contact with local gangs, ensuring rich future relationships. So you see, our organization is the perfect solution. Some have even called it the final solution. So act now. Give us your money today, and we'll ensure that little Timmy here grows up to be a wealthy, prosperous drug lord. Hello, I am Dr. Peter Trickle. I am the head research scientist here at the Urinary Science Research Corporation. Our research as of late has been related to the angles and trajectories of certain liquids in certain situations, and I am convinced I can create the perfect arc for any liquid, but I specialize in one liquid, urine. We've been making waves at this research for years. I am convinced with another year or two of my research, we will be able to solve all of the world's problems, including hunger, thirst, and mostly just thirst, but also a little bit of hunger. I am uh, very proud and happy to have a wonderful co-worker. He always is diligently do? taking notes, and I have full faith that his documentation process is pristine. Oh, shoot. It's not even attached. Just last week, I had nailed the perfect arc, but I noticed he was not looking, and I had failed to roll the cameras, so it was just lost in the wind. Quite simply put, the apparatus in development will allow one to have full control over their urine arc, therefore providing perfect accuracy in any urination scenario. You can expect that is a highly valuable apparatus. You know, growing up, I always wanted to be a scientist. That's why I took this job. But what we're doing here, this isn't science. There's nothing scientific about it. At this point, I've just been watching a man pee in his own face for months on end. I just, he's trying to create some sort of apparatus that will allow the penis to be placed at uh, an angle that will allow anyone to pee in their own mouth. <laughs> Who asked for this? Does anyone want this? This isn't science. This, this lab coat this comes right off. Look, you'd think if we were conducting research we'd have equipment to measure angles, trajectories, Things like that, I, no, we just have, it's just me with a notebook. What is he expecting me to do? I just want to be a scientist. Please, <gasps> hire me. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I want out. We've cracked the code. Good afternoon, madam. I apologize for the wait. May I take your order? I think I'll just have a light salad. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll have that right out for you. Your salad, dear. This is not what I asked for. Oh. oh. I asked for a light salad. My, my apologies. We'll, we'll have that right out for you. Thank you. Perfect, am I right? Um, I asked for a light salad. Does this look like a light salad to you? Uh, of course not. Of course it does not. Absolutely. Of course it is not. My apologies, the chef is sorely mistaken. I'll be back again. <sighs> Your light salad, madam. Thank you.
finally what I asked for. <sighs> Absolutely. Service here is ridiculous. Mm. Delicious. Mr. Sutton, I presume. Yes. Professor Johnson? Nice to meet you. Great to meet you as well. I see you brought your resume with you. That's excellent. Absolutely. Let me just have a look real quick. Okay, well, Mr. Sutton, I gotta say, this is an impressive resume. I do need to inform you, however, that in order for us to consider you for this position, I do need to submit you to a Pacergram litmus test. Don't you mean Pacergram fitness test? Nah. Um, okay. What was it? Is that marijuana? I, I think I might be in the wrong interview, honestly. What are you, a f cop or something? No, no, I'm not a cop. No, I swear. Look, you want this job or not? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I do need this job. What do I gotta do? <sighs> oh, God. Mr. Sutton, I've, it looks like you passed the litmus test with flying colors, honestly. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of flying colors right now. And we are actually just going to start you immediately, so if you follow me. Like this way. Uh... Oh, I do need to remind you that in this position you are going to be performing brain surgery. Oh, I almost forgot. Scalpel? Uh, okay. <laughs> Extreme Sudoku. What makes this shit so extreme? Sudoku's child's play. you has got three minutes to finish this here puzzle before I blow your brains out. Okay. Two in the middle. The two doesn't go there. No, no, wait! Hey, yeah, um, hey, you used to work at a vet office, right? Yeah, okay, so, uh, you know my cat, right? She's acting a little funny. I was wondering if you could come take a look. I don't think she's doing very well. Thank you. Awesome. See you soon. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, she is right in here. Yeah. Let me go. Look. Hey, how you doing, huh? Hey, listen. You got a cigarette? Maybe some, uh, catnip? Something to take the edge off? What do you think? What's wrong with it? Um... That's... That's a dude. What do you mean? Like, that's my cat and she is a girl, actually. Meow. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no. No, that's that's definitely a dude. A human. I've had this cat for years. What do you mean? He has... I, I mean, look at him. He's, he's the same size as the bed. Her voice is just a little rough. I'm pretty sure she's got a cold or something. Hey, how you doing? It... it's talking. It doesn't yours? Oh! Yeah, there's my cat. Wait a minute. Then who's... Meow. I'm gonna make some uh, biscuits. Remember your training. You got a wife, you got a kid. You're gonna be alright. Just remember them. Okay, you got this. Okay. Green wire. Yeah. Alright. Steady. Steady. Just steady. Girl, you got this. You got this. You got this. Shit! Now hold on. I don't 
want this pomade. I want Dapper Dan. Hmm? Dan, I don't <coughs> carry Dapper Dan, sir. I carry, <coughs> excuse me, I carry Fop. I don't want Fop. God. I'm a Dapper Dan man. Now watch your lang hmm? <coughs> language. This is a public market. <coughs> now, <coughs> if you want Dapper Dan, <coughs> I could have it here, have it here in a couple of weeks. Well, ain't this a geographical oddity? Two weeks from everywhere. For, forget it. Mark Zuckerberg, this is a call out here, boy. I've seen your damn video. You've been smoking them meats with the sweet baby rays. I put sweet baby rays in a crack pipe and smoke that shit up. I take a funnel, I insert it into my asshole and I pour a gallon of Sweet Baby Ray's in that bitch every day. Easily, thanks Trump. And speaking of meats, what meat you got, boy? Take a look at this here grill. Look yeah. at that meat right there, look at that. Look at that meat right there. Oh, really? I'll bet you one smoke <laughs> no baby rays. Mark Zuckerberg don't got no meats that look like that. Ain't now I nothing like that. Now this Mark Zuckerberg about to be in a Sweet Baby Days when he sees what we done with this Sweet Baby Ray's. You said you forgot the Sweet Baby Ray's. I ain't forgetting, the, well, he was, I thought he was supposed to bring the sweet. You didn't bring no sweet baby rays. I do what I can, but I ain't in the agenda. I emailed you about the sweet baby rays. I need five Three. gallons and I need a phone. I don't have internet. I don't live in the deck gum city. Let me tell you what. What's Zuckerberg gonna think if he sees this video here? You we ain't got no sweet baby rays. You didn't bring sweet baby rays? Come here. Did you did you see the meats? What is it? Let's take another. Hey, Matherney. You get in the meat, you get out the meat, you get hey. the baby ray, you don't get the baby Tanner. ray. I'm a Dapper Dan, man. man that's I don't give a f about no baby rays. I'm with Trump. I don't know who you're with. Oh, the whole fucking thing weighs a hell of a lot more. <laughs> who are you with? I'm with Sweet Baby Rays, god dang it. Hello, and welcome to the magic show. I'm Merlin the Magician, your host. Please welcome to the stage my lovely new assistant. And don't ask what happened to the old assistant. First, we'll start with a card trick. I'll ask my assistant here to pick a card. Any card. Good, now show it to the audience. A queen. Well, that shouldn't even be in the deck. Now, pick a different card. Ah, a king. I bet she's used to pulling kings, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Magic! Next I'll perform some hypnotism. Abracadabra, alakazam, make me a sandwich and fill it with ham. Wonderful. Now watch as I cut the sandwich in half without even using my hands. Magic! Boo! You stink! Silence! I'll turn you all into pigs! Oh, I see these crystal balls in your future. <laughs> oh, no wonder they're turning blue! Okay, okay, well why don't we try a bit of transmutation? Mm -hmm. For my next act, I'll turn this woman into an everyday object. Oops, I forgot! She already is one! <laughs> Magic! But fine then, maybe we'll try a disappearing act then, hmm? Alakazam! What? How could she expect to close the wage gap when she can't even close her thigh gap? <laughs> Magic! I'm out of here! Oh, fine then, I didn't need her anyway. Say, you want to hear a joke, don't you? I'm sure, after all that magic. Well, let me tell you something. Women are a lot like doves. I put them in my hat, and you never see them again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leviticus with the Plant Corporation. I'm here to show you some very interesting and groundbreaking research that we've been developing over the past month. Come, follow me, and I'll show you what we've been working on. It's quite exciting. Come on, this way. Now have a look, I'm just so excited about this precious little angel right here. This is Shaniqua. She's been very tenderly loved and cared for for the past several weeks. And um, let's not mention Adam. 
the control group per se. This plant has been just given nothing but good nutrients, positive vibes, energy. We pet it, we whisper to it. I sing to it. I love you. You're the beautiful plant. Oh my goodness, your leaves are so green. Look at it, it worked. It's such a beautiful plant. And what this does is it clearly illustrates if we speak very kindly to our plants, the molecular structure within the cells will be better. Look at it, it's healthy. Now, on contrast, let me take you somewhere else. We're gonna show you Adam. Yeah, um, come with me, I'll show you Adam. Yeah. Right this way. Adam. Yeah. Yeah, what up? How are you doing, sir? Yo, what's up, guys? How was the uh, baby plant doing? Ugh. Need a little help? Yo, fuck you, you piece of shit, man. Yeah, you trash. You trash. You're nothing. Nobody else. Now. As you can clearly see, the test results are absolutely infallible. Our beautiful plants, spoken to with only positive messages, grew very vivaciously, green, lively. Whereas our problem child is dead. Oh, dead so plant. as you can see, the evidence is clear. You must speak to your plants in a loving tone. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Yo, my shiz, uh, my yeah, guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. My bad, not very appropriate nah, for me. You, yes, how you so, chilling, huh? So I was like totes blazing like two ounces in one hit bro. yesterday, bro. That's duh, that's crazy, homes. Like, I'm just shit. saying, I got I got the powers. Hey, hey that's real though. Uh, that's real. In my dog. That's real, yeah. Hey. So I don't I I didn't catch your name. What oh uh, yeah, it's, it's Sherlock, Holmes. Sherlock. Like, wait, like Sherlock Holmes? No, no, man. It's it's just Sherlock Holmes. I oh, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sherlock Holmes, bro. Yeah. Sherlock. Uh. Sherlock? Sherlock Holmes! You! Come, we need you. Seems serious, bro. <sighs> I, I was trying to chill, Holmes. Yo, what the, Dude, that's a body, Holmes. Oh, hell no, dog. Dream Dog Betty! <laughs> Boy, we sure have a tough competition here today, Tom. That's right, Jerry. Two titans coming at it. Here uh, we have Adam the Annihilator Jones coming in at 5'7 with a favorite breed of a pit bull, so you know he knows how to wrangle those wily animals. And in the other corner, we have Spike Euthanasia Stabby coming in at a whopping 130. Now, I have to say, I am a little concerned about the use of, I believe those are swords he has? Could be, maybe not. Uh, here we got Adam going in at it. Looking a little skittish. Seems a little timid. Yep, yep, I think he's gonna have to really get in there if he wants to score any points with this judge. Oh, here we go, really oh, nice technique. That's a nice pet, that's a great pet. Can we slow this down and see it again, please? Oh, oh, seems to have lost control of the dog. I believe that's going to be a five-point penalty. Major penalty on Adam here, but he does have him back. The redeeming double-handed scrub. Double scrub. But he does slip away again, and that Let's is Let's go game. to the judges and see what they have to say. And a five. And here we are with Spike Euthanasia Stabby. He appears to be pulling out yeah. the weapon, Wait and we're going to have to cut the camera. What is this? Everybody, my name's Stephanie, and I'm about to talk to you about like uh, some of the things that I don't really get and how I feel about them. All right, number one, right off the bat, homosexuality. I don't understand it. I sure as hell don't engage in it. And I don't like it. Well, what, what was that? You don't you don't like? I don't like it. Why not? I don't like it. What what's wrong with the the homosexuality? I don't understand it. Okay. I sure as hell don't watch gay porn every night before I go to bed. So what are your thoughts on uh, abortion? This is a hot topic right now. I don't understand it. That's a damn shirt. And I don't like it neither. Well, I mean, you don't have to like it, am I right? Women's rights. You don't understand them. And I sure as hell don't like them. 
people that have different opinions than me, different nationalities, ethnicities. I don't understand them. And I don't like them. Is it safe to say that uh, you might like some of these things if you understood more about them? The f you say to me, boy? Basic mathematics. I don't understand it. And I don't like it. How to read and write. Spelling. Grammar. I don't understand it. And I don't like it. I don't like it. The theory of evolution. I don't understand it. And I don't like it. The socio political situation in the Middle East. I don't understand it. And I don't. And I don't like it. How to wipe my own ass after taking a shit. I don't understand it. You know I don't like that shit. So you don't wipe? Uh, are you gonna recycle that beer on the ground? <laughs> Recycling? I don't understand it. But it's just. I don't, I don't like it. It's just reusing things. All right. Okay. So uh, how do you get in this chicken coop? How to undo a knot? I don't understand it. I don't like it. Okay. YouTube, the internet, and shit. I don't understand it. I don't like it. Self control when it comes to alcohol. I don't understand it. You know, I don't like it. That was a full beer. The socio-political situation in the Middle East. I don't like it. Oh wait. <laughs> Do you understand it? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Hi and good morning. Welcome back to another day in the Midwest. Today we're looking at highs of 96 and a current low of Negative 23. Today we have a 99% chance of watermelon sized hail, slight potential of catfish raining from the sky, and if you direct your attention here, you will see a large tornado in your backyard. So watch out for flying cows. They can cause a lot of damage. Wait, no, that's, that's the studio. <laughs> Tinder. Cassidy, 24 year old woman. Love adventures. Adventurer! Thank the gods I finally found an adventurer! Please, I beg your assistance! The evil dragon Dargon has awakened from his slumber! How did you get in my house? Please, take up the blade of Gilgamesh the Destroyer and slay this foul beast! Is that a sword? I should warn you, adventurer. Should you fail, Blood will spill from the heavens themselves! The lives of millions hang on the edge of your blade. Will you accept my quest, adventurer? Yeah, okay. Excuse me, miss! Are you going on this adventure? What are you? I'm Garbius from the Goblin Village! Please, it's imperative! You must do this for us! Are you wearing a diaper? This is standard goblin attire! I dare you! Please! Please for the good of the land! Please, for the good of the land of Argonite! Okay, 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 okay! You know what? You guys suck. Maybe I don't like adventure. Okay, um... Travel. Yes. Travel, you say? Aha! There should be much travel! Step through the portal! Into the land of the demons! Oh, Alright y'all, I'm headed out. Um, good. I'll be back in a few hours. Yo, wait a sec. Hey, has anyone seen my key? Hey, it's me! It's your boy, Mikey! What you need, dog? 
No, not you, Mikey. I'm looking for my key. Like, like I got this prostate exam in a few, and I, I gotta get there now. No, I'm right here. I, I, I've always been here for you, man. I, I, I don't know what you say. You say you need me, then you say not me. All I know is you said my key. That's me. I'm Mikey. Yeah, yeah. I need my key. I need yeah, it I'm to right, leave. I'm right fucking here. No, I, I'm, I'm looking Mikey. for my key. Like, no, do you I'm, know where it is? I'm, I'm right here. What? what do you mean? I always been here for you. Listen, I have to get to a very important meeting. Yeah. Now? Yeah. I need your help. I'm, yeah. Have you seen my I'm key? I'm here for you. I'm right. What do you mean? I'm right no, in here. My dog. My car key. For my car. Oh, so the I... key for the key for you. Of yeah. course, I'll start your car. But just yeah. toss me a key. Hey, someone say your key. It's me, your key. <sighs> now, little Adolf, what is five plus four? Hmm, well, let's see now. You said five plus four. I believe that equals nine, 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 nine. Very good, that is correct. For your reward, let's get this boy some juice, shall we? Juice! Hey man, uh, they just let us know the power is out right now and it's gonna be out for a little bit. Oh, okay. For how long? Um, I don't know, they said it'd be at least like tomorrow morning. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! It's fine. Is this you in gaming? Well, not anymore with our new tilt filter mm. service. Just speak your mind. My team is trash! And your personal agent will translate. Although my team is doing poorly, I recognize the mistakes that I myself made Sage, if you wall that again, I'm going to punch you through my monitor. I was bullied in school and should seek therapy. Offended teammates? Dude, you're in my way! Get out of my way! Not anymore. Excuse me, sir. Your character model appears to be blocking my way. May I go through? Dude, get out of my game. I had absolutely no hand in the development of this video game and cannot control when you play. Don't be this guy. Hire him instead. <sighs> this game sucks, I hate this game, never want to play it again, I don't know why I ever bought it. I recognize that I'm performing poorly in this game, but that doesn't mean that others aren't having fun. Toxicity Dude. influencing Report your top. team? Report top, absolute theater. Never again! It's fine, everyone has bad games on occasion. Bro, you have to quit your job if you're gonna play this game because you actually suck. Not everyone has the time to become a pro in a video game, and you don't have to be good to have fun. Dude, he just team killed me again. Screw this big money Salvia guy. It's just a game, and everyone has the right to play it in their own way. Coddle your ego. Everyone in this entire lobby sucks besides me. I'm insecure about my performance in the bedroom, but my performance in this match has bolstered my confidence. Mother Preserve the pure ears of our children. I recognize that I'm feeling frustrated, but I will not lash out on others. Dude, you are so bad. Uninstall, uninstall the game. I see that you're new to the game. Don't worry about it, we were all new once. Never worry about being on an FBI watch list again. I swear, you are literally a mushroom. What? Do you experience mild acne? Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and been a little bit thirsty? Are your toenails just a hair too long? Well, you don't have to suffer any longer. Ask your doctor about overdosethol today. Side effects may include heart attack, stroke, exploding penis, cancer of the scrotum and anus, physical deformities, nightmares that may manifest into reality, spontaneous combustion, enlargening of the nipples that may be life-threatening, internal bleeding, broken spine, loss of skin that could cover large parts of the body. Don't suffer for a moment longer. Call now to receive a free consultation. Do not take this product if you require sleep of any form of rest, have lungs and breathe oxygen, are a heterosexual, 
homosexual, bisexual, or other. Have opposable thumbs. Enjoy the small things in life. Chew, swallow food, or as a means of nourishment. Are a human being or other bipedal mammal. Side effects may also include sudden death. Finish him. Fatality. What's in this stuff? It's so good. It says you need 11 bananas to get your daily potassium and magnesium. That's insane. Well, I guess I'll just... Wait a minute. We have more than this, too, in the fridge. Dude, are you okay? What happened? Move. 11 bananas. How many? Why? I hate 11 bananas. And ma. <laughs> Doing a throw up. You know, just too much banana in my mouth. <laughs> what's yeah. up, man? How you doing? Not much. How are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. Hey, uh, what's wrong with that guy? Oh, he's just like illegally blind or whatever. Don't you mean legally blind? No, like, he's so blind, it's illegal. Huh. Never heard of that. Do we get a code 52 here? I repeat, code 52. What, what was that? Oh, uh, sorry, I just had something on my face. Freeze! Get on the ground! Flintstones, meet the Flintstone. He's a Flintstone family. From the town of Hey everybody, welcome to the Law Offices of Joey Fantona. That's me, I'm Joey Fantona. Give me a call. Hey, you might be thinking to yourself, hey Joey, you dropped your cigarette. Alright, shut the f*** up, okay? I don't care about that, give me a call. I'm a lawyer, you need me. Hey Joey, I don't need a fucking lawyer. What, what do I need a lawyer for? <laughs> Listen here, bud. You shut your mouth. Maybe you've experienced some kind of minor setback in life, alright? Give me a call, we work something out, we work out a deal. Let's say, maybe a neighbor's walking his dog, right? Takes his shit right in your yard. Right in your front yard, are you kidding me? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. We'll sue him, we'll sue the neighbor, we'll sue the dog. I don't care, I'm Joey Fantona. Listen, you gotta give me a call. Now picture this, maybe you're walking down the street, right? Some friggin' jabroni starts looking at you crazy. We'll sue him, we'll sue the pants right off him. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hey Joey, Joey, what? I'm filming a commercial here, huh? Joey, but, but Joey, but Joey, uh, what if he's not wearing any pants, huh? Well, I, I hope for his sake that he is, in fact, in this hypothetical situation, wearing pants, because things can get very, very ugly. In the courtroom, that is. <laughs> of course, of course, in the courtroom. All right, so maybe your wife's just nagging you all the time, right? She wants a divorce. <laughs> well, sue her. I don't care. You know, maybe a kid, he, he don't want to listen, right? He, he don't do his homework. He don't want to do nothing, right? You don't want to do a helpful with chores around the house? We'll sue him. I don't care. Yo, you can't sue kids, Joey. I don't care. I'm Joey Fantona. All right? We'll sue him. We'll sue your wife. We'll sue your kids. That's our motto here. All right? Joey Fantona. Call me up. That's that's what we do. That's what we sue people. All right? That's what we do for a living. That's how I make money. I'm going to make a lot of money off of you in particular, actually, right now. You're going to give me a call. I, I expect my phone to be ringing here within the next three minutes. And if it's not... So help me God, Joey Fantona, the only lawyer you're ever gonna need. Because seriously, if you try to hire a different lawyer, so help me God, I know where you live, I'll kill you. Not only will I sue you, I'll kill you. You understand? I ain't playing around, I'm Joey Fantona. I know where you live. <laughs>